Hello everyone and welcome back to our educational video series. My name is Amanda and I am a Customer Success Manager at BRE Networks. We hope you find these videos beneficial to your fiber network designs in further perfecting your budgetary needs. Our software tool FOND excels in generating cost estimates with a customizable network design with a goal of keeping your costs low. In our earlier video, we customized our bill of materials by breaking down the cost allocation to the underground structures. Today, our goal is to look at a side-by-side -side comparison of two designs using the same architecture, one with our pre-configured bill of materials and the other being more uniquely defined based on the architecture. We will further analyze the cost breakdown and how to align the BOM with the network's architecture. First, you'll need to define the network architecture. This includes the number of cables, nodes, connectors, and other network components that will lead to deciding the materials you will need. FON's architecture panel allows for a user-friendly experience while entering the proper quantities in each tier of your network. Upon defining your architecture, you should have a general idea of the components that you'll need. It's important to find specific products that meet your network's requirements. This may involve researching different manufacturers, comparing specifications, and evaluating costs. You'll then need to calculate the quantity of each part of the network based on the number of nodes in the overall architecture. Before completing the BOM, it is important to verify that all components are compatible with each other and that they meet the network's performance requirements. Once these steps are completed, we can define our bill of materials accordingly. Our pre-configured bill of materials can be one way to get started with understanding the total cost of your network. When it comes to understanding the breakdown of your network cost, it can be best to further define it. An architecture with connectorized, pre-terminated, or factory terminated devices will not have cables and hubs costed appropriately in FON's default bill of materials. Connectorized drop hubs are hubs with connectorized ports for plug and play drops and an attached tail that can be spliced into the distribution tier of the network. Connectorized hubs simplify installation by minimizing splicing in the field. If you use connectorized hubs, the default bill of materials will summarize the total length of each size of cable, which will include the drop tail cables. It will also only allow you to specify one cost for each drop hub size. However, when purchasing connectorized hubs, what you are buying is the terminal with a pre-connected tail cable. The price varies depending on the size of the terminal, and it varies by the length of the tail. This can be defined as you build your bill of materials. However, the default bomb will summarize these costs in the cable size rather than the connectorized drop hubs, according to its length and size. To cost these correctly in the bill of materials, the first thing you will need to do is to remove any cables configuration that captures drop tail cables and any terminals, cabinets, or splitters that captures drop hubs. Instead, you will use the connectorized drop hubs item to create proper line items in the bomb. When costing a fiber network architecture with connectorized and pre-terminated devices, it is important to consider the cost of the equipment and materials needed for the installation while appropriately categorizing these costs in your bill of materials. Using connectorized drop hubs instead of cables can be a more cost-effective solution, especially for larger networks and installations. Overall, using connectorized drop hubs instead of cables can be a cost-effective solution for fiber network installations as it reduces the amount of labor needed for installation and simplifies network management. By carefully considering the cost of the required components, you can accurately estimate your cost to have ultimate clarity for the total funding required of your fiber network architecture in FOND. Stay tuned for our next video of our series where we will dive deeper into the various components of FOND's bill of materials and how you can use and understand these categories in your network planning. Thank you for watching. 
If you have any questions or are ready to see a fond demo, submit the form below and a member of our team will contact you soon.